What if I told you the world would end soon, that everything you've grown to love, your friends, family, beliefs, and memories would all disappear? How would you respond? Understandably, you'd be shaken by the news and maybe a little frightened. You might even attempt to find some solace by spending more time with your loved ones. On the other end of the spectrum, you might quickly disregard what I told you and quickly bring up the fact that according to science, the world isn't expected to end anytime soon. To which I would rebuttal with, Unfortunately, the truth of the matter is the world could very likely end sooner than you think. In fact, it may even end tomorrow. It may come as a shock to many, but Earth as we know it could potentially end tomorrow. And that's not an exaggeration. According to many scientists, the world could end in a variety of catastrophic ways, many of which could happen tomorrow via a cataclysmic event. Whether it be caused by natural events or human intervention, many of the ways the world may end are more realistic than you may think. A nuclear war. The impact of a nuclear bomb depends on several factors. For instance, what the weather is like, the height from which it was dropped, the type of model it is, and if it explodes in the air or on the ground. Regardless, the impact would be massive. On explosion, a nuclear bomb is capable of causing severe third degree burns, which should kill the average person should they not be treated immediately. Or it could completely eviscerate a person or any living life for that matter, completely to ash. Furthermore, a nuclear bomb can knock down several buildings with its sheer force, killing many in the process. To put it in perspective, a nuclear bomb has the capabilities to level a city on impact. Even more shocking, that kind of damage can be achieved through the use of a single 1 megaton nuclear bomb. And that's not even the strongest bomb to ever be created. The largest is known as the Sar Bomba, a 50 megaton bomb. Different countries in the world have access to these kind of bombs, and should there be a reason to go to war with these weapons, it may bring an end to the world as we know it. An ecosystem collapse. With the constantly increasing human population, society is constantly turning to mother nature for new resources. We've been doing so for the past couple of millennia. However, mankind seems to be driving mother nature to the point that it may eventually collapse on itself. If humanity keeps up using the planet for its resources, it would mean the end of life as we know it. With people slaughtering animals, destroying plant life, and ultimately providing toxins into the air, an ecosystem collapse is likely to happen. A good majority of people don't realize that the ecosystem we know is fragile. So much so, the extinction of one species may lead to the extinction of another. As a result, humans may be next on the chain of mass extinction. A pandemic. One of the most dangerous threats to the human population in general is a simple virus. If a deadly disease spread across the world, it would mean the end of humanity. In the last century alone, we've had multiple epidemics. We've had four flu outbreaks, the emergence of HIV and SARS, as well as the Ebola outbreak. As reference, in the past we had a virus that ultimately killed half the population of Europe, the bubonic plague. And in 1918, the influenza outbreak killed more people than the First World War. On an added note, just as people evolve over time, so do other species. That includes nasty contagions or viruses. And if a deadly contagion surfaced today, it would spread even faster and infect even more people. Furthermore, considering how much transportation has evolved and how easily a virus can spread, a deadly virus could potentially infect and wipe out all of humanity within weeks. A supervolcano. Supervolcanoes are part of the world's history, and they have a destructive history to boast about. If a volcanic super eruption were to occur, it could potentially release magma 10,000 times the quantity of your average volcano and cover most continents in ash. There are roughly 12 different supervolcanoes across the planet, and though it seems like a small amount, one supervolcano has the power to eradicate half a continent. The amount of magma released onto the regular surface will not only burn trees, set fires, and destroy buildings, but it will also kill many animals and people in the process. In addition, the spewing of burning rocks or spouts of magma could fly far, potentially destroying other places outside the magma's reach. And that's not the worst of it. The ash that covers the air will then become an immense threat. The ash could kill by the million since many would breathe in toxic fumes, and people with lung conditions and developing children would be the first to go. On a scarier note, supervolcanoes can also cause a domino effect. If one erupts, then it could cause earthquakes and then even tsunamis. A massive earthquake. Earth is relatively fragile, all things considered. It's a massive planet, sure, but that doesn't make it invulnerable. And it is not as stable as most would make it out to be. A small asteroid can cause a large crater, and it is easily malleable via human intervention. On that note, earthquakes seem to tear the floor of the planet. That being said, a huge earthquake, 
that being one that occurred due to multiple plates colliding, would have the power to tear the Earth apart, maybe even in two. An event such as this would essentially mean total chaos, and most likely bring the world to an end. A Mega Tsunami A Mega Tsunami is simply a gigantic wave, one big enough to cross oceans and destroy cities. Mega Tsunamis can be caused by either a meteor or asteroid, or by massive landslides. And if a Mega Tsunami were to happen, it would be catastrophic. It would create 5 trillion joules of kinetic energy, a force so powerful that no boat or building will survive if hit by the tsunami. Within 10 minutes, the tsunami would have destroyed an entire continent, and it would leave the remains swimming away in the water. An Asteroid One of the more violent end of the world scenarios would be the sudden crash of a massive asteroid. The odds of being hit by one are pretty likely, as it has happened before. The asteroid that took out the dinosaurs countless years ago and set the world into an ice age was just one of the many debris that could be found in space. And it would take only one big asteroid to send the world into a second ice age. On impact, the atmosphere will catch on fire, towers of flames will start to rise, the outdoor is incinerated, and billions will die as they simply evaporate into what remains of the Earth's atmosphere. Furthermore, the asteroid will act as a catalyst. The shockwave will bring more disasters to Earth. Disasters such as earthquakes. It will then wake volcanoes from their slumber and cause massive tsunamis like the above mentioned mega tsunami. Within seconds, life as we know it would cease to exist. A tilt on the moon. Should an asteroid not hit the Earth and instead hit the moon, then that too would be just as catastrophic. The moon is more than just an object of beauty in the night. It keeps the Earth and its water on a stable gravitational pool. Should it be tilted slightly, then the Earth's oceans would become erratic and cause multiple tsunamis. If one mega tsunami wasn't bad enough, then imagine 50, or even more. In addition, if an asteroid instead collided with the moon, instead of the Earth, then shards of the moon would most likely come down to Earth, causing even greater impact and potentially killing thousands in the process. The Burning of the Atmosphere it's no secret that people have been using oil from the Earth for our benefit. In fact, we've been using oil for almost two centuries. However, in doing so, we've essentially been burning a hole in our atmosphere. For those that don't know, or didn't pay attention in your sixth grade science class, our atmosphere essentially serves as a protective aura against the sun's harmful rays. Unfortunately, we've been burning through the atmosphere and its impact is extremely noticeable. Climate has gotten a lot hotter in these past couple decades, and global warming has taken effect. Ice caps have been melting, tornadoes have been forming as a result, and harvests have been failing. Who's to say that one day these impacts won't increase in severity, and ultimately humanity and all life in general might cease to exist because of natural disasters or lack of resources to keep us fed. A Clathrate Explosion Methane clathrate is a type of ice that exists in tremendous quantity. They exist on the ocean floor, and unbeknownst to many, if they melt, they could have apocalyptic results. As the name suggests, this type of ice contains methane, a very explosive and unstable gas, and in this case they are stable only in the cold or under high pressure. If one were to explode, then it would heat up our atmosphere and rise the water level, which in turn would again heat up the water causing yet another explosion. It then becomes a never ending cycle that will eventually flood the entire earth. The sun collapses. Like other stars that are born, live and die, the sun is expected to do so as well. However, unlike smaller stars, whose deaths go practically unnoticed, the sun's death would be felt in full force here on Earth. The sun, like any other star, holds itself up with the constant fusion of hydrogen and helium atoms, a fusion which keeps the star from collapsing on itself. There's enough hydrogen to keep this process going for billions of years, but like most things in life, it has to come to an end. And when it does, it will be humanity's last hurrah. When the sun is not able to generate enough energy to hold itself up, it will start to collapse. The sun will then expand to a red giant, essentially exploding and evaporating the earth. We don't know when the world is going to end. That's just a fact. The best we could do is be safe, be prepared for anything, but most importantly, live life to the fullest. The world ending is a scary notion, so let's not think about it. Rather, we should spend life with loving attitude and appreciate what we have. Because before you know it, we might get evaporated by a planetary-sized explosion. With that, let me leave you with this small factoid. Did you know, different governments have been currently preparing for different doomsday scenarios? That includes a nuclear attack slash war, a zombie outbreak, an alien attack, and an asteroid impact.